Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, hello, teacher. teacher. Good evening. Hello. hello, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Everybody, good how are you? Good evening. How are you doing today, people? Very fine, teacher. Very well. Today. Okay. Perfect, perfect. That's good to know. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for joining for today's safe share. Tell me, how are you feeling today? You know, it's last day of classes for the for this module. How do you feel about that? Are you happy? Excited? Sad? You know, how do you, how are you feeling? What are you, a little sad. A little sad. Happy, all right. Thank you. It's valid. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Tell me, are you planning to continue for the next course? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, I am. Of course. Perfect, excellent, thank you. That's great, great, great. That's the idea, that you continue learning because that is the way we're going to achieve the goal of learning a second language. Remember, uh, in this process, practice is our best friend. So the more we practice, the more we learn. So. Congratulations for reaching the final session. And also congratulations on having the motivation and the commitment to continue on this path. So continue learning. Nice, nice, nice one. Let me see. Let me check at this moment on some people, you know, uh, you see more people connected and I will uh, really appreciate your help with the cameras, please, please, please. Thank you, thank you. Remember it's part of the requirements. Thank you. It's good to see you. Perfect, perfect. Nice one. Thank you, thank you, people. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. for today, let's get started as usually by checking in attendance. And then we move to some information about today's session, something we have prepared for today. But let me go over my document at this moment. And in the meantime, we may start on attendance. Let's see. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, in the meantime, I just want to congratulate, congratulate uh, all of you because I was checking on the platform some minutes ago, and I could see that you have uh, you have completed the platform. And that's really nice. So congratulations, congratulations on that. I was checking and I could see that only two people are still missing to complete, but I imagine, I, I am not sure, Matt, but I imagine these people couldn't make it to finish on the course. So probably that's the reason they are a little bit behind in the contents, but for the rest of you, you did it amazingly. So congratulations and thank you so much. At this moment, let's begin on attendance and we go like this one. Alberto Enrique. Present. Excellent, thank you. Hey, Ana Noemi. Present. Amazing, thank you. Brian Isaac. Present. All right, all right, thank you. Carlos Fernando. Present. Great, thank you. Carlos Heriberto. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Mr. Carlos Manuel. Present. Amazing, thanks. Then I have Cesar Alejandro. Present. Perfect, Mr. Then Claudia Lisset. Miss Claudia Lisset, probably not available yet. Let's go over this one. Christian Gerardo. Present. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Mr. Damaris Mabel. Present, present. Teacher. All right, thank you so much. Then I have Elian Heriberto. Present, teacher. All right, thank you, Mr. Stephanie Giselle. Miss Stephanie, probably not yet. I move on to the next one, Fatima Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Gabriela Unice. Miss Gabriela Unice, probably not yet. I move on, Gerson Antonio. Gerson Antonio, probably not yet. Ingrid Jamilet. Present. 
perfect, Miss. Then Jose Samuel. Yes, teacher. Nice one, thank you. Marcos Javier. Mr. Marcos Javier, probably not yet. I move on. Maria de los Angeles. Oh, thank yes, you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Marcos, and thank you, Maria de los Angeles. Thank you so much. Then, Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. All right, perfect. Thank you. Then I have Marvin Raimundo. Marvin, Marvin. Right, thank you so much. I continue. Then I have Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Let's see. After that one, I have Gustavo Garcia. Gustavo Garcia, probably not, not yet. Then I have Jan Cisaray. Present. Excellent, thank you, Miss. Jamie Rosibel. I am here. Perfect. And Jennifer Yesenia. I guess not available at this moment. All right, people, thank you so much for your confirmation to this video conference and that. Let me go over this one. Uh, let's see. Let's get started on this. For today, we have the final session. That is session number uh, should be 16. Sorry. Sorry for the typo. Let me fix on that one. It's not 15. It should be. 16 let, let me fix it let's see all right perfect now there is it's session 16 and today we check on information on the last section like where were you born and we have a second part for wh questions we did was and where that's the objective that we are going to cover on today's session before we go to the practice uh, i have some activity that we are going to work on at this moment right take Take, check on the pictures, you know, there are uh, some illustrations about past memories. Now, let me select on some people to talk about, think about your one of your best memories in life at this moment, right? Think about what you did, think about who you were with, and probably the place, the time, you know, the activities you did. Think about that one, right? So everybody at this moment, think about your best memory because I will be asking some of you to participate on that. So you can give some details on that. I will give you 30 seconds, right? 30 seconds and think about it. Okay, perfect, perfect. I see some happy faces, so probably that's a good memory that you are thinking about, probably a special time with a family, a special time with someone you love, you know, some someone you appreciate. It's possible. And now let's work on this one. Let me ask on some people. Carlos Heriberto, tell me, what can you tell us about one of your best memories in life? Um I I'm watching the the third. Uh, picture mm -hmm. and I, I was thinking about my my graduation uh, mm -hmm. it was in 1997 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and it 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 um, it coming a lot a lot of memories mm -hmm. Uh, I enjoyed that time, and I no sé cómo la pasé bien. I had a good time. I had a good time. All yes. right, thank you, thank you so much. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let me ask an other person. Let's choose on a lady at this moment. Jansi, Sarai, what can you tell, what can you share with us? Think about the good memory and then you tell us about it. I remember um, playing with my friend. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Igual que la pasé bien. I have a good time. I have a good time. Mm -hmm. All right. And with my friend. All right, perfect. And what? 
type of games did you play? Um, uh, football, soccer. Ah, uh -huh, soccer. And baseball. Mm -hmm. And Mika. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect, perfect. Let me ask on more people to participate. Let's go for a boy at this moment. What about for you, Brian? What can you tell us about a uh, good memory that you have? Um, disculpe, no, no, no entendí muy bien la pregunta. No problem, no problem. At this moment, we are participating and we are trying to tell the class about a good memory that you have, something good that happened to you. It could be a memory from a school, it could be a special location or something that is uh, representative for you. Uh, I did like, uh, um, no, no, así que ver. I like, I like, mm -hmm. uh, I like to play uh, soccer mm -hmm. and I like, I like to play video games mm -hmm. and um, Quiero ver, este, I always, I have liked uh, mm -hmm. the English languages. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let me see on this one. What about for you? Let me choose on a lady. What about for you, Gabriela? What can you tell us? A good memory that you have. Mm, my best memory is mm. when I watch anime, Chiheki no Kyojen, and eat mm -hmm. pizza. <laughs> Siempre right. son mis mejores recuerdos de todo. Give, all right, give memories. Uh, yeah. What was the anime, sorry? Chiheki no Kyojen. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. It just, it recently finished on the final season, right? But we're waiting for the next one, next year, probably. Next year. <laughs> yeah. All right. Perfect. Cada That's año it. termina. Yes, yes. But I was expecting the ending on this one, but I was not not like that, right? At the end, it was amazing, but you know, we're waiting. Let's see how that works. All right. Perfect. 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 All right. Thank you so much, people, for the ones who participated and shared on some ideas. You know, remember the simple path works for telling about something that happened to us regardless of the time reference in the past. It could be today in the morning, that is the simple past, yesterday, last week, you know, two weeks ago, last month, last year, 10 years ago, you know, in that case, we can incorporate the simple past to make reference to this type of events. At this moment, let's go over this exercise. As you may see on the screen, there is uh, a conversation, you know, you know, between person A, person B, and there are some spaces that are not complete. At this moment, we work together as a class and we complete on this one. Notice that there are some uh, information in parentheses, as for example, in the first one, we are going to use the verb enjoy, in the second one, have, and the other we have make, take, see, and also we incorporate with info about short answers with div, or didn't, depending on if it is affirmative or negative. But at this moment, let's work together and try to remember how to create questions. Let's go for the first one. How do we complete the first part? Simple past, the first element, which is it? Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you enjoy your vacation? All right. Do you enjoy is in the present? How do you say that in the simple past? Did. All right. Did you. Exactly. Did. Mm -hmm. Did you? And what about on the verb? Do I say enjoyed or enjoy? No, enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy it. Perfect. Enjoy. Exactly. Thank you so much. Remember for the questions, in this case, when we have action questions, you know, action verbs, in this case, the action goes in the base form. It doesn't change because there is the presence of the auxiliary. Did you enjoy your vacation? 
Yes, I, how do we complete that part? I did it. Yes, did I did. did. Yes, I did. Exactly. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Perfect. Yes, I did. That's correct. That is the short answer for questions. In this case, for the yes, no question, action verse. Yes, I did. Let's continue. My brother and I have had, had, had a great time. Perfect. 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 Had. had. Exactly. Remembering this one, we transform the verb because that is an affirmative statement. Recuerde que acá ya estamos, después del yes I did, pues ahí hay un punto y finalizó esa mini idea, ¿verdad? Esa confirmación de la pregunta. Luego de ahí, donde dice my brother and I, that is extra information. So we don't consider the auxiliary and we make the changes as required. Ve aquí, okay? hacemos ya los cambios como se requiere. Entonces, después del punto, tenemos una oración afirmativa. Y recuérdese que en las oraciones afirmativas sí efectuamos los cambios al verbo. Ahí sí los vamos a cambiar, dependiendo si es irregular o si es regular, pues ahí hacemos los cambios como amerita. Así como ustedes lo mencionaron. My brother and I have a great time. Perfect. Let's continue. What about the next question? How do we complete? Did you make any Did you make any Exactly. Base form. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Did you make any videos? That's correct. That is the correct question. And what about for the answer? No, no we didn't. No, we didn't. Exactly. No, we didn't. Going for the negative part, right? No, we didn't. Check on the next one. After that, we have an affirmative sentence that goes after the period, like an extra info. But we took a, took a, lot, a lot of pictures. Exactly. We took, that's correct. We took a lot of pictures. Then the conversation continues. That's good. What about the next part? How do we complete? Did you see? Did you see? Did you see a lot of interrupted. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did you see? Exactly. Perfect. Let's go for that one. Did you see? Perfect. Remember, questions we go with the same base form. Recuérdese que siempre, siempre, siempre en las preguntas, por la presencia del auxiliar, pues el verbo no se ve afectado y lo ponemos siempre en forma base. Did you see? Did you see a lot of interesting things? Yes, we did. It. Did. We, we did. Did. Exactly. Yes, did. we did. Affirmative auxiliary for that part, right? To complete the affirmative idea. Yes, we did. And we had Hey. How do you pronounce that one in the past? Thank you. ¿Cómo hey. pronunciamos el verbo? Ah, thank you. That's fine. Exactly. And hey. how do we spell it? ¿Cómo lo deletreamos? A-T-E. A-T-E. But in English, excellent thing in English. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. That's correct. We spell it A-T-E, right? And, and in pronunciation, A. And we ate a lot of nipples. How about you? What about for the next question? This Did one? You call it, I have a good summer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, you, thank you. Exactly. Did you, and the next, the verb? Have a good summer. That's correct. Did have. you, did have. you have? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We return to the base form, right? Did you have a good summer? That's the question. And check on the next one. For this one, we have a negative one. Check on the info in parentheses. Vea que en parentheses nos dice not y nos da un verbo. Cuando usted encuentra ejercicios de este tipo que le diga not, no solamente tenemos que transferir la palabra not, sino que nos está diciendo que la parte que vamos a trabajar va a estar en negativo. Y ahí pues hacemos uso de la auxiliar eh, en negativo, en este caso el del pasado. Si fuera en presente, pues ahí vamos a utilizar un auxiliar en, en, en presente, pero en su negativa. Acá, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Well, I I didn't. Didn't. Didn't, didn't went? 
Went, went, go. Didn't go. Went, didn't, didn't go. go. Ah, perfect. Didn't go. Hmm. I have like divided ideas at this moment, but let's discover. Didn't go. Why, teacher? Why? Because the ne the past idea, right? It's reflected on the auxiliary, and then. Because of the auxiliary, the verb goes in the base form. Recuérdese que en las negativas, igualmente hacemos uso de un auxiliar. El, el didn't, eh, que sería para los negativos específicamente. Y la presencia del auxiliar me va a eliminar el cambio al verbo principal. Esto ocurre, como lo mencionábamos antes, en preguntas y en respuestas negativas, en este caso respuestas largas. ¿Dónde se ve reflejado que la oración es en pasado? En el auxiliar didn't. En esa parte, cuando se ve el auxiliar, usted sabe que es el, el auxiliar del pasado, entonces ya tenemos la idea que se está haciendo, eh, se está haciendo referencia a algo del pasado, pero en negativo. El, el verbo principal siempre va a ir en su forma base. I didn't go. Y hey, quedamos tranquilos, ¿verdad? Si reflejamos el pasado en los negativos. Well, I didn't go anywhere, but mm -hmm. I, affirmative, how do you say that? Red. 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 Exactly, exactly. And how do you spell the verb red in English? R-R-E-A-D. Exactly. Same spelling, right? No change it. The change is only in pronunciation, but I read Present read, will pass read, right? That is the only, pronunciation is the only difference. But I read a lot of good books, right? That is the info that we have. Read a lot of good books. And, and what? Some of them movies. Exactly. And so, some great movies. That's perfect. And in that case, we have all the questions, short answers, and also long answers using the simple past. Let's go over a practice. I read the complete, the complete participation, you listen and then you repeat after me. Try to pay attention to the intonation for questions. That is something important when we uh, express any idea. So listen carefully and then you repeat after me. I read the complete participation. Voy a leer la participación completa, ¿verdad? Aunque encuentre un punto por ahí, yo no me voy a detener, sino que leo toda la participación A, se repite. Después voy con la B completa y así sucesivamente practicamos. Are you ready for practice, people? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, yes ready. Yes. Great. Let's begin. Listen and repeat, please. Did you enjoy your... Sorry, sir. One more time. Did you enjoy your vacation? Did you enjoy your vacation? Yeah, I did. Wait, wait, wait. I go, right? Yes, I did. My brother and I have a great time. Yes, I did. 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 No, we didn't, but we took a lot of pictures. Oh, we didn't. We didn't, but we took a lot of pictures. That's good. Did you see a lot of interesting things? That's good. Did you see a lot of interesting things? that one. Pronunciation. Interesting. Vea la pronunciación, porque me parece escuchar interesting. Interesting, y ahí no es esa la pronunciación. Listen again. Interesting. 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 Perfect. Interesting. Perfect. Interesting. The emphasis was at the beginning. Vea que el, el, como la fuerza de voz va al inicio, ¿verdad? Interesting. Interesting. Ahí estamos bien. Let's continue. Yes, we did, and we ate a lot of new foods. How about you? Yes. Did you yes. have a good yes. summer? We, oh, yes. Sorry, sorry. yes, we huh? did. Yes, we did. did. Yes, we did. And we had a lot of new food. How about you? Did you have a good summer? How about you? Good summer. Right. Did you have a good summer? Well, I didn't go anywhere, but I read a lot of good books and saw some great movies. Well, 
some yes. great movies. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's correct. Perfect, perfect. Check on this one. I just have, a, uh, is there any question at this moment? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect, perfect. I just have, I have received that question over the text, right? Por ahí me escribieron una preguntita en directo en acá y le vamos a dar respuesta. Hace referencia a la última participación que dice, well, I didn't go anywhere. Si en la oración estuviera en afirmativo, ¿verdad? no utilizando el auxiliar didn't, entonces en ese caso sí el verbo iría en su forma pasada went. I went y el complemento anywhere tendría que variarse por el sentido de la idea que estamos transmitiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí cambiamos de didn't go en negativo y pusiéramos en este caso I went y de ahí tal vez la persona da dato, ¿verdad? I went to the beach, I went to the mountains, I went to... Y me hace mención de la información donde fue. Eso sería. El detalle está que en el afirmativo, recuérdense que no utilizamos el auxiliar did. ¿Qué sería esto? Que usted me diga de pronto, teacher, entonces, yo sé, ¿será que puedo decir I did go? No es incorrecto, pero no es el uso del pasado. El pasado se refleja en el afirmativo, en el verbo, haciendo el cambio al verbo. I went. Right? I went. Y no es posible tampoco tener otro tipo de combinación. Por ejemplo, decir I, I did went. En este caso sería incorrecto porque el auxiliar en, en los afirmativos no se utiliza auxiliar. Y aparte tuviéramos, si es que fuera permitido, tuviéramos dos elementos reflejando el pasado. El auxiliar did y el verbo went. Pero recuérdense que en el afirmativo no utilizamos auxiliares. ¿verdad? Nada más el verbo principal. Hacemos los cambios que amerite. Si es regular, pues ya sabe usted qué hacer al verbo. Y si es irregular, pues nos toca por ahí hacer memoria de cómo utilizar el verbo en su forma pasada. Pero auxiliares en afirmativo no utilizamos, ¿ok? Verbo, su forma pasada. ¿Mm? That is to answer some of the questions. Para responder una de las preguntas que por ahí me hacía alguien eh, directamente en el chat. All right, so we have some idea on that. Now, let's do something. Just a quick practice on this one. But let me see in this one, I guess I just mixed on the colors for this and let me see if I can make it back. We're going to work on something. Just give me a second. I will stop sharing at this moment.